What's up guys? So I found this pretty interesting. I looked at the voice changing repository yesterday to see if there were any new updates and it looks like there are. So um, this isn't a this isn't a formal installation video or anything like that. It's just an exploration of what is new so far in the voice changer. And it seems like there's been a lot of new changes. And uh, one that is particularly exciting is this Beatrice version 2 model um, because it's Beatrice. This Beatrice model is really, really fast. So faster than RVC. And now you are able to train up a Beatrice model for uh, voice cloning. And I just want to give a quick demonstration of how that is um, working right now. And I've got the real-time voice changer client installed here. And the cool thing about Beatrice is um, you don't need a GPU in order to actually run this uh, in terms of changing your voice in inference. All you need is CPU. So it's actually running on CPU and the voice conversion is really, really fast. Now, there is an issue right now on server mode, um, which is for this Windows AS, uh, API right here. And this Windows API allows you to get near instant real time conversion. However, you guys aren't able to hear that right now because um, there's there's currently a bug in the software. But I want to show you guys how it sounds um, with the default uh, settings here. And I'm going to go ahead and select this um, JVS corpus right here and give an example. So, so I'm going to go I'm ahead. Gonna go ahead and start it. And it um, you can see my voice has already changed. And this is already pretty quick in terms of um, NC. And if I change the chunk size to 2400, it's almost 100% real time. And the circular mode is even faster if I was able to use that WAS API driver, but at the current moment, I'm not able to. So this is all running on CPU, not GPU. So you don't need a graphics card for this. Now I'd have to test what uh, quality of CPU this can actually run on. Um, now this is the older Beatrice pre-trained models. Now I want to go into a model that I just, a toy model I trained yesterday, which is based off of modding some Hololive. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the voice change right here. And this is how the model sounds and it's not too bad. Um, if you were to compare this to like the RVC models, it's going to sound a little bit lower fidelity. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So let me go ahead and stop that, change it over into the RVC models, and then we're going to go and try this. Now, this is based on my GPU, so I'm going to need to use my GPU for this. So I'm going to go ahead and start, and we will see um, what the delay on this might be. So, all right. All right, so currently I'm speaking and this is the delay that is on the voice. Now, I can try to bring this in a little bit. Um, so I have this 2400 and it's the latency and it is very low. Well, still I see and the quality isn't as um, good as you like because the words just like to merge into each other. It sounds weird. So let me go back into the Beatrice model right here. The Beatrice model, like I said, is almost near instantaneous. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. here. So like I said, this isn't a installation video or anything like that. It's a demonstration of the software and of what's new. Um, there is a training repository, but for most people, you're not going to be able to get this training repository up and going to train your own voice yet. So. Um, I'm currently working on some scripts in order to make this training process a little bit easier. Um, there are some it, there are some issues if you try following this exactly. Um, for example, when you start training, uh, you are going to need to specify and make your audio, uh, your data set in a specific way. If there are any um, people out there that are interested in trying to get that to work um, before I'm able to come out with something, then you'll go into the community tab. Uh, scroll on over to what this guy um, stated here. And the biggest thing is you're going to need to split the files into nine second wave files and then convert them into mono. If you don't convert them to mono, you won't be able to train. And then you need to run it via this command down here. So for 
Um, now, um, this is just an update on what's new in this voice changing area. I thought this was pretty interesting because um, I wasn't expecting Beatrice to be able to clone to that level of quality in terms of being able to um, be real time. But it looks like this is going to be it moving forward. Um, I will be playing around with many other voices and seeing how uh, how good it's able to to um, clone. And we'll see how um, that ends up turning out. But for now, just wanted to uh, share this because I thought this was pretty exciting um, and pretty interesting. As I know, a big issue is that people are not able to use it because they're GPUs and it's it's uh, GPU intensive. Now, one more interesting thing is that it looks like um, they're trying to improve it for mobile phone tuning. So that'll be interesting um, being able to get this ran on a, uh, a phone. So yeah, maybe we'll see that in the future. But um, for now, that's going to be it for today's video. Just a quick video. And uh, yeah, once again, like thank all the members of my channel for supporting me and uh, very much appreciate it. So see you guys later.